Hey, what's up, guys? How beneficial has it been the past couple of days? Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's been good work for us the last couple of days. Um, seeing different looks, you know, going against different players, different fronts, uh, pass rush games, all those kind of things are, are huge as you get prepared and ready for, for the season. So, you know, I think it was a really valuable two days for us. It looked like you had a little juice after that first seven on seven. Something there. Like you were hot early today. Oh, I, you know, I, I felt good. Um, you know, both days. I thought we got, you know, good work in the past game. Um, I thought guys, you know, made plays, which is what you want to see. You know, you, you you put balls up and you try and put it in spots for them to be successful. And uh, we came down with a handful of them. So you know, I thought our guys did a good job. But I mean, there's a. It, it is fun competing, right? Like this is why we do it, you, you, to go against other teams, to, to, to see where you're at um, from that standpoint. Uh, so there's always, you know, a little, just a little extra juice, you know, than when you're you're going against your own guys and, and that part of it's really fun. Can you get a better sense of where your young receivers are at when they're going against the different corners and different DBs? Um, yes, but I also think we've got, you know, really, really talented guys here that, that you know, challenge us, uh, and that part of it's really good too. Um, but you know, I I think I think it was good for them these last two days. You know, to to see different bodies, to see, uh, see different guys, see different techniques. You know, di different stuff that they're going to see through the course of the year, uh, and have to adjust to it qu uh, quickly, um, and, and kind of trust the training that we've done. You know, since since April when we've gotten together, it's the first time we've you know, really had extended time going against different guys. And, and I think that part is valuable. I mean, there's a ton. Um, he's, he's a really hard worker. And, you know, when you combine that with talent, you know, that's the, the good players I've been around. They've all been that way. Uh, and, and that's, you know, more so than anything he does on the field. It's the combination of, of the work ethic, the competitiveness, you know, all of the intangible stuff combined with the talent. And uh, if you're going to be, you know, a, a great player in this league, you know, which I think you can be, you've got to have it all. You've got to have the work ethic. You've got to have the confidence, um, and then and then you've got to have the skill set to do it too. And you know, the combination of those things is what fires me up about him. Matt, Frank Reich likes to go for it a lot on fourth down. He kind of puts you in one of those situations there in the two men. As a quarterback, you kind of have to embrace that same mentality that fourth down, fourth and short, we're, we're going to go for it here to really succeed with him as your coach, right? Yeah, when they call it on fourth down, it's our job to you know make sure make sure we convert. And so, you know, I I love Frank, but it's not unique to Frank. That's been my whole career. If if they've got the confidence to to you know go for it on fourth and um, that's what we're doing. It's our job and responsibility as players, you know, to to make it right. And um, you know we fell a little short there at the end, but we we've got to get better in those situations. You always wear you always wear a brace. I mean, once you get into a season? Yeah, I've, I've worn a uh, brace on my left knee since college. And so um, I don't typically wear it during practice. And, you know, just going against another team, um, not that I thought anything would happen, uh, but, you know, you just don't know the, the competitiveness. And, and it can be non intentional, too. Um, but I've, you know, I've I've always worn this since college. Hey, you, okay, a couple more. What, what, had, what had been your impressions of Oval Tree before yesterday? I thought Drew. Um, had an awesome camp and uh, really great off season. I think he impressed everybody in this building um, with with how he plays on the field, his savvy, uh, the hands, the way he blocks. Um, it's unfortunate when you see you know stuff like that. It's hard, you know, and and it you don't become numb to it even when you play for a long time. You know, it, it sucks when you see something like that uh, and and you feel for him. Um, but I was telling him yesterday, it's, you know, he, he's going to have a bright future around here. You know, I think everybody in this building knows what he's capable of doing uh, and to try and stay positive and, and just uh, attack this rehab and, and get back as fast as he can. Matt, how much, how much RPO work did you do in Atlanta over the years? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, we did, we did a little bit in Atlanta. Is it, is it more here? Um, I wouldn't say it's, it's much more. Um, you know, at, at different times throughout my career, we've we've kind of emphasized different things, but you know, I've certainly done um, some of that. You know, at, at different points in my career. How do you how do you like doing all the ball handling and everything you guys with that? I like it. You know, I ran the triple option in high school, so.
you know, I'm, I'm used to it, man. It was a long time ago, but, you know, we, we did a lot of that in high school. So, um, you know, you do whatever you got to do to win football games. And, you know, I'm certainly comfortable with that. Matt Jay, last one here. Jim Mercer yesterday spoke very highly of the changes you've implemented here in the early going. What have you taken from that relationship in the early going with the new owner? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've really enjoyed, you know, getting to know Mr. Ursay and, and um, you know, you can tell the, the passion that he has for, you know, this organization it means everything to him. And, uh, you, you know, you feel that. I've been lucky, you know, throughout my career uh, to play for Arthur Blank in Atlanta, who was, you know, incredible. And then to be here uh, and play for, for Jim, it's, um, it's special. But I think the passion he has, you feel that immediately. Uh, the love he has for current former players. Um, you know, the first night he came and spoke to the team in training camp, you know, he, he's mentioning everybody that's been through this building and, and the legacy, and, and you feel it, you know, and it's it's not lip service, you know, he, he's genuine. And so uh, I've really enjoyed getting to know him. And, um, you know, I do, you know, you mentioned yesterday, we're kind of on these similar trajectories as, as an individual and as, you know, an organization. And I, you know, I feel that way. I feel like I'm, I'm in a place in my career where, you know, I'm as competitive as I've ever been and, and want to win as, as much as ever and um, certainly feel that ur urgency, you know, from the organization as well. So it's great. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.